for 12 battles. It's an adventure on the greens, battles. Stay tuned. Welcome to SNL Adventures in Food. And I'm back again with another food review. But before anything, Merry Christmas to everybody, Vatos. And it's Christmas Day. And what do I have here for you? Guys, yeah, nothing special, Vatos. I'm sure all you people have this at home, either yesterday or today. Got some tamales. Watch out. And these are green pork tamales. And these are from that lady I told you guys that makes them. And sells them, we ordered four dozen. We got two dozen of green, one dozen of red, and a dozen of candied tamales. It's early in the morning and I'm hungry. So we're gonna eat. Don't go over there, some cough. The sick and he's trying to get me sick, eh? Look at that. That's the tamal. And the bomb is spicy. Ooh. This lady puts a lot of meat in their tamales. Look at this thing. Fully loaded. Not like some of them that you get. There's nothing but the masa. And it's it's not good. These things are fully loaded. They're bomb. You want to come around? I want to get stuck, eh? No, I come around, baby. But go around that way. We're here. Wanna bring you guys just something to say Merry Christmas to everybody, Bato. You know? That's all right. I'm gonna do a review, whether it's big, long, short, small. And the kids are playing with their toys right now. Got the Grinch brought on me. Eh? And then if you ever eat your, your tamales, try Doritos and tamales. It's bomb. It's good, man. Eh? Gives you a different flavor. The spiciness, the crunchiness. Yeah. And it's bomb. Let me show you guys a closer look. Look at that's all the meat. Very limited masa. It's bomb. My favorite is green because it's spicy. Very, very spicy. The red is more flavor and spicy. Yeah. Look, I called it. I'm recording, Bato. Come say hi. Tell so everybody say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Who brought you toys? Grinch. The Grinch, you know. The Grinch. We don't got Santa here. We had the Grinch, huh? Yep. That's cool, huh? And and he's mad. Why is he mad? Get more of this one so he can see you. Why is he mad? Because he's sad now. Why is he sad? Because he he st he he stole Christmas. He stole your Christmas, huh? Yeah. But what? He brought you gifts? Yeah. Presents. He brought you presents. All right. Yeah. What you get? I'm just excited about them. Cheese. The Paw Patrol? Yeah, Paw Patrol in the movie. In the movie? But that's not the only thing you got. You got big toys. Where are your big toys at? My big car? Yeah, so many dinosaurs in your cars and and everything. Okay. But yeah. He's showing you some of the gifts. And my motorcycle. Yeah, more gifts at home, but obviously they're not there. Yeah. I got more gifts at home. But they haven't been home. Because they've been here at the house with us. Dinosaurs. There you go, Alright, put them over there. Thank you. But um The baby came Cutters. out. Hey, shh. Go sit down, baby. Go sit down. The baby came out on his due date, but he didn't get out of the hospital till yesterday, the 24th. 
So, we ended up keeping the kids. We went to have dinner last night because nothing went as we planned as far as having our menudo or our turkey or buffet, whatever it is. But the menudo is still in effect somewhere. It's not cooked yet, but we'll get to it. Come on. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went to go eat. We were going to go to the... Let me see how the grandkids are. He says to the cheese factory, what the cheesecake factory. The wait was an hour and a half long. So we said chalice. No, Sergio didn't want to wait because he wasn't feeling good. An hour and a half is a long time, mama. No, I know. That's fine, dude. I understand. So we ended up at CF Chang's. So that's where we had dinner. We ate some Chinese food. Mm -hmm. And. The kids orders some dessert. They give them like a whole pound of cake. All right, Vato. What are you eating? I'm eating poop. You're eating poop? Orale, <laughs> <laughs> this is Vato. You're a good reviewer. And I'm eating cake. Tell them to subscribe, Vato. I'm going to eat the whole cake. You're going to eat the whole cake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My daddy's hungry. That was bomb. That was really good. And they're probably wondering why the grandkids are like, how the Grinch bring them presents? Because the Grinch kind of scared them, Bato. And actually, they have a video of it. So go, guys, go ahead and check it out. Who closed the door? Somebody, who closed the door and what? Oh my god! <laughs> what the? Oh my god. So you guys see, they got scared of the Grinch. The Grinch stole all their toys, their presents. And I think the, the policia is here, I gotta go in. Well, we made it up to them and the Grinch brought them gifts. So they're excited. And I wasn't gonna bring the Grinch back, but I think they'll be scared. So we just left it at that. Um, I saw she was saying that the Grinch is sad and he feels bad and brought him good. So before I went to dinner though, he forgot to mention that my son called me, Isaac, the one that had the baby. And he was driving and I told him, what are you doing out of the hospital? And I was wrong. I'm driving the Jack in the Box to go get us some food. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, they let him go because they won't let him go. But I didn't think nothing, whatever. Why don't they let him go? Because of the COVID. Ooh. He can't be coming in and out because of the baby. So, anyway, um, he was taking a long time to get to Jack in the Box. And I told him, damn, man, what Jack in the Box are you going to? He goes, oh, they're all closed. And I was like, oh, I said, that's understandable. I said, because it's Christmas Eve. He goes, yeah, yeah. And then he goes, okay, mom, I'm going to call you back. I was like, okay. And we hung up. Calls me later on. Okay, mom, hey. And I'm just like, okay. I'm trying to get ready. And he's over here calling me, talking. And then I went to the room with Sergio because Sergio was getting ready. Or something like that. And the kids ran in telling me that their dad's here. I'm like, what? Oh, he came to visit us. I was like, what? Nope. They brought the baby to us. How big? They let him out, and they brought the baby to see us. But they didn't take their other two. 
They got the little booger And they left all the bottles here. They're like, hey, fool, your parents are here. Take I them. know. But um, they didn't want to take them because they wanted to go home and get settled and basically get some rest. They have been okay. up with the baby at the hospital, so they're tired. Because well, the beginning of tired about those. You guys have a newborn. Good luck, about those. But you guys, we have one grandson son that's sick. He has a cough. When he when he got here the other day, he had a cough, and now it's really bad. Now his two grandsons are sick. No, another about those coughing. The other one woke up coughing, and so now we're gonna be scared that they're gonna go home and get the baby sick. A newborn, okay, mind you. Yeah. Babe, it seems like these tamales are dry. They're not like, like before. I don't know. I'm hungry. I don't know. I'm hungry. No, I know you're hungry, but you're you're looking at it. You're eating it. No, I guess I know how to lately. She has no sense of humor. Good man, me, but it's okay. Not that I get mad. I get frustrated because. Everything's a joke to you, and I get upset. And I told you some day more, Mama. That is me. When I die, I'm be my Cassie like this. It's like you can't change my sense of humor, Mom. That's how I was raised. My mom was the same way. My mom was dying in her hospital bed, dancing in the on a ventilator. That's just me. When something happens to one of my family members and they pass away, I'm getting away from you. <laughs> I am not gonna be with you because I'm gonna wanna probably. Mom, Peace out and cry. that happened and I helped you get through it. So don't say you're going to get away from me. You know, don't start. Don't start. You fought with me. But anyways, you guys, that's what's going on right now. The kids. But they're going home today. And hopefully we can go home and make some menudo. I need it with our dry tamales. I don't know, it just seems like they're dry today. Look. Dry. Usually they're like nice and tender and juicy and all kinds of chile falling out of them. But not today. Do you want some bottle? No? Are you gonna eat? Where'd you go? I want cereal. You want cereal? This is our Christmas morning little tamale review. Just to say Merry Christmas to everyone. And I'm going to wait for New Year's now. Oh, jeez. I hope we can make our dinner on the New Year. What are we having for dinner? Sandwiches, probably. Sandwiches for New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. I don't want to plan it because it doesn't happen. <laughs> so it was mad yesterday because we couldn't make our tamal, our menudo. It was. Dude, you guys, I'm being serious. It's not upset. He was mad. Okay, not upset. There's a difference between being mad and being upset. He was mad. So I was dealing with that yesterday. Uh, so. so. Before we go, hit the like button, comment below, share the channel, and subscribe. <laughs> and this is all I have for you, what the? I think you know? So let's see what I bring for you guys for the next video. Until then, you guys have a wonderful day.